Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my podcast 084. We're going to look at some 3D modeling Vectorx 2009. Now, some of these tricks you can do in earlier versions of Vectorx anyway. I've got 2009 on my screen, but these uh, tricks actually can be used in some really old versions of Vectorx. Now, the tricks I'm going to show you all come out of my new 3D modeling manual. What the um, problem, Stephen, was that uh, we've got this shape here. Yeah. Down the bottom. And they wanted that shape, which is easy to draw in front elevation, but they actually wanted it wrapped around a curving wall. So you can see oh, I managed yeah. to do it. Yeah. And the way I did it was I made a whole bunch of. Um, I made a whole bunch of little lines that followed that curve in plan view and I lifted each one to different heights in 3D and I used my okay. loft surface to give myself a, a lofting that curved in three curved in plan and went up yeah. and down in elevation. And Excellent. then I just used the shell solid on it to um, make it wider. But yeah. I thought this was a really neat trick. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, and dropped it down to the right level. What do you think? And I just extruded yeah. that NURBS curve right up to hit the underside of that flowing thing. Yeah. Oh, that would be really good to do. And I thought that was really cool. And now this is using some of the tricks that are out of my 3D modeling manual, the one that's just been announced. Okay. So, so people look at that manual and they go, okay, well, you know, it's all very well. Jonathan ex has explained all the stuff in simple terms. But then mm. you get this problem and you go, boom, there it is. And it uses all the things that I've covered in my manual. I just thought it was brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. For support, training, and manuals, visit www.archoncad.com. Thanks for your time.